All right, guys, this is your shoes for cruise unboxing video. I mean, when you spend like $80 on a pair of work shoes, you want to know what you're going to get, right? And the uh, Online, they show you like this view, this view, that view, that view, and it's, I don't know, it just doesn't always <clears throat> tell you the full story. So these are really light, okay? Uh, I think it said something about 10 ounces or something like that. So on the website... Welcome to Bridgetown. These are the Bridgetown shoes. So what I guess that means is that each one of these rows, I don't know, forms a bridge or something. But I guess what, you, what you're looking at here is, see on my other shoes, I've got this grid, this little like, see these uh, three by three here? I've got that all the way through, which is great when it's wet or you're on oil or something like that. It doesn't slip. The problem is, if you work at a restaurant like me, and you um, step on a French fry, whoosh, like it just gets th this gets all clogged up. You get the potato like all the way in here, and you're just sliding. So I guess this is designed to prevent that with these larger rows, and yet still have this like um, anti-slip, which is great. These things are great as far as anti-slip goes. I have never had a complaint with shoes for cruise as far as how the grip is. My, my largest complaint about shoes for cruise is their shoes are completely uncomfortable. Like ridiculously uncomfortable. There have been a few styles that I've been able to find over the last, let's see, when did I sign up? 2015, I think. Over the last uh, four years that I've uh, found that I liked, and one of them was the Marathon, which is basically like this. Um, very lightweight, but it has this um, all the way throughout, this um, solid anti-slip tread. And, of course, they stopped, they discontinued the model. So now I'm looking for what the next best thing is, and it looks like this is it. This is the Bridgetown. Now, you, rip, you can get the Bridgetown in two different styles if you go to the website. You can get it with the all-synthetic um, upper, which will keep the water out. And I, I would like that. The problem is I've had, my experience in the past is that when I've bought shoes that have the all-leather upper, they're really uncomfortable because they're really inflexible. And I like a flexible uh, foot um, tread. So, um, a shoe, I guess, in general. So uh, that's why I went with these. And, of course, there's a 30-day uh, return policy. So I can just send these back in the box, use the return label on the front, and uh, off they go. And uh, I'm definitely going to take advantage of it. I've never done it in the past, but I am from now on because I've ordered shoes, and they've been, like, ridiculously uncomfortable. So these look like they're pretty lightweight. And they give you one of these things to, like, dig out the potatoes if you get them in your treads, which is nice. But after ordering many pairs of these uh, shoes for cruise, I have a bunch of those. And, uh, yeah, so there's your unboxing video. Um, I'll do a review once I wear these for a while. Uh, like I was saying about the uncomfortableness, I even ordered the New Balance ones, okay? Because New Balance, like, the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, I have the same exact model number and everything in the athletic non-slip shoe. So comfortable. As soon as I bought the shoes for Cruise brand with the non-slip sole, you would think that's the only difference. No, it's like ridiculous. They weigh like a thousand pounds and they're, um, that's an exaggeration. They weigh, they feel like they weigh a lot and, and they're really uncomfortable. So hopefully we'll see. These are nice and light. We'll see. And it looks like they, according to um, specifications or promises in their, on their uh, website, it has the extra, the insole that's like got the extra padding on it, which you can take out and replace or add to, which is what I do. I usually buy my shoes about a half size larger or a whole size larger and then I add uh, more cushion because usually what comes with the shoe is not enough. So that, those are a couple of tips. This was supposed to be just an unboxing video, but then I got into the other stuff. But anyway, once I wear these to work tonight and um, after a couple days, I will give you a review and we'll see if these things measure up or if they're going back to the store. All right. 
So uh, if you got any questions or comments, please put them in the uh, uh, below. And uh, if you like the channel, that'd be great. If you subscribe, that would be a great way to help me. Uh, so if you want to do that, that'd be awesome. Uh, hope you guys have a great day and uh, happy foot wearing. Bye-bye.